You're watching Caribbean Vibrations, and we're coming to you from the beautiful BMO Field as we're at Caribbean Night for TFC. And I'm here with Mendel Murray, the manager of Club Engagement. How you doing, boss? I'm good. Can't complain. Thank you guys for having me. Well, thank you for having us. And we ask everybody the first time they're on the show, where do you represent in the Caribbean? Represent the island of Jamaica, the beautiful island of Jamaica. Well, all right. And he's from St. Mary and St. Anne, so you're, you're on that side. You're on the Ochi side. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we're here this beautiful day, Caribbean night. Sorry, Caribbean Heritage Night. What was the origin or the idea behind this night, and why are you guys doing it? Yeah, I mean, so apart from our other teams, the, the Raps, the Leafs, um, we actually don't play in Black History Month, right? So nights like tonight are nights for us to be able to, to breathe, to relax, to celebrate um, the challenges, the wins, the successes of Black and African people for over 400 years that have, that have struggled, right? So for us, it's a time to really feel vibration, feel rhythm, feel, you know, the culture uh, for people that are in the culture, for a time for them to uh, feel, you know, represented, but for those who are allies of the community, for those to learn a little bit more about the culture. And so it's important for us to represent them in that way. I love that, I love that. And we also know Caribbean people love our soccer, our football. Yes. Now, interesting enough, we were doing some research. You guys have had a lot of Caribbean connected people. So can you tell us a little bit about the connection with the Caribbean and TFC? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, obviously soccer is a, it's a global game. Um, it's a game that really unites everyone together, no matter race, gender, identity, background, whatever. Um, you know, current players, Tyrese Spicer, Jaquil Marshall Ruddy, a couple of that guys that represent the islands that are on the team. Um, and it's something where, you know, kids in the community that are from these islands can can come and you know actually see themselves represented in these players it's a cheap sport in the sense that you know all you need is a ball to play especially if you're from the islands so it's easy to get connected to it um, you know and so when they see people like Jaquil they see people like Tyrese on this level having such success it really opens up such a door for them and you know another pathway to success to what they want to do with their life so it's a huge connection and something that I think really ties us to the community a little bit more wise words wise words now, is there anything else you'd like to tell our Caribbean Vibration viewers about TFC and what you guys are up to? Yeah, come out and support as much as you can. Um, you know, TFC, I think, is, uh, you know, our history, historical background. I think, you know, we've had a ton of success um, and we're trying to continue to build that success, right? And, and we have a lot of great players, a lot of, uh, you know, the great environment in soccer. I was sharing you before, soccer was never my first sport. But I'm a big soccer fan just because of the environment of soccer. Um, there's no fans as passionate as TFC fans, especially in Toronto. Um, so definitely come out, support, once in a lifetime opportunity, and we'd love to have you out and come out and enjoy the game. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for having us. Of course. Thank you. And you're watching Caribbean Vibrations. Caribbean Vibrations.